top it's not riveting the good news first an attempt has been made by writer director atanu mukherjee to come up with a screenplay that unravels one track after the other with some amount of suspense the story too has intrigue father divakar's accidental death brings dhruv his teenage son back from boarding school only to slowly learn that his mother nandini had shielded him from many a crisis in the family which led to divakar's death so was his father murdered with manoj bajpai reliable as always another efficient performers like kumut mishra and smita tambe around every character moves around with natural ease this includes young actor adarsh gorov who's cast as dhruv However, even at a short 106 minutes, Rook seems painfully long. There are several subplots like Dhruv's own history which forced his parents to send him to boarding school. Atanu Mukherjee takes his time revealing layer after layer about Dhruv and his parents with an uneasy background of money laundering and terror funding that the young boy stumbles upon. To the director's credit, he ties up the many threads rather neatly. But by the time he escorts Dhruv to the ultimate truth, the viewer will find it difficult to stay focused as the pace is far too leisurely. There's also the feeling of being let down at the end since the real reason for Divakar's death was right there and didn't require Dhruv's fruitless investigation. Although they're all good actors, neither Smita Tambe as Mother Nandini nor Adarsh Gorov as Dhruv require any change of emotions right through the film. Even Manoj Bajpai isn't required to flash more than one tense expression, but his presence lends Divakar's character a certain depth and substance. For the endeavor to go down a different path, Rook gets a 2-star rating. Hi, this is Ayushman Khurana, and I congratulate Lehre for completing 30 years.